Hey everybody, Carla with Carla's Clever Crafts. I'm back. I'm going to do another Easter, religious Easter design with this really pretty sign that says He is Risen. It shows the stone rolled away from the tomb and the light shining out. So that's the sign we're going to be working with. It's a metal sign. This came from Doodlebug Lane Signs on Etsy. So if you go to Etsy and type in at the at sign, with Doodle Bug Lane signs that should bring you to her shop. Okay, and to go with that, well, first let me show you the frame that we're working with. I can figure out where I put it. Oh, right beside me. Okay, I want to apologize too first before I proceed. My internet is not working very well, so I'm not going to be able to see anybody's comments. But please, if you have questions or comments, suggestions, feedback of any kind, leave them in the comments, and I will get back to you after the live video. So I'm working again on a 14-inch frame from the Dollar Tree. This one again is silver because I'm using purples and yellows and uh, thought the silver would not be as harsh or throw, show through as much as the black would. To wire my frame for the pipe cleaners, I do each section at a time. Each section is considered between these two crossbars, so this is one section. You have a total of six sections all the way around. Okay, I'm going to put three pipe cleaners in each section, just like I did in this first one here. To do that, we've got four rings all the way around. So we're going to start and put our first pipe cleaner on the inside two rings, and we're going to try to get right in the middle of these two crossbars. So the halfway point, wrap it around and line up your ends so that it's as even as you can get it and then twist tightly because you don't want your pipe cleaners to move around and twist over top of this inside wire that gives you extra stability and then I just push my pipe cleaner for the inside to the inside and when I do my outside ones I push them to the outside out of my way so I can keep working on my frame okay now for the outside we're going to place two out here and we're going to line them up halfway between the center one and this crossbar on these outside two bars. So let's go ahead and do that one. Again, you're gonna line them up, pull tightly, and twist your knot over, tire, over top of this inside ring. Always want a knot over top of the inside ring that you're working on. Okay, and then we're just gonna come to the other side and do the same thing, halfway between the crossbar and the pipe cleaner on the outside two wires. Twist it and just push it down out of your way. And once you do that, in all six sections, you'll have 12 pipe cleaners on the outside two rings and six pipe cleaners on the inside two rings. So you have a total of 18 pipe cleaners. And that's the method I use when I'm doing cruffle style um, mesh race. And so on this design, I've gotten us started and put the pipe cleaners on and I started laying in the mesh and some of the ribbons. I left up a space here though for me to demonstrate how I've done everything so far. On the base, I'm using this really pretty light purple and this really pretty yellow. Both of these came from BB Crafts and they're about $3.50 a roll. She, she always, or I'm he, I'm not sure which it is, um, always runs a sale. Um, so she usually has 15% off. I've seen it as high as 20, but she hasn't done that in a while. I just got it. My mesh caught on my shirt, so I tore a string off my shirt. Okay, so both of these meshes, well, all of the mesh that we're working with tonight um, is 10 inches wide. It comes in a 10 inch roll, 10 inch wide roll, and then we're going to cut it 16 to 17 inches long. That's for every piece that we use on this entire design. We're going to do the cruffle method. We're laying it in by alternating the collars. So we have yellow, purple, yellow. We need a purple one next. And when you're laying in this mesh, you're only putting it inside the pipe cleaners on the outside two rings. We're not using the inside, inside six yet, just the outside. 
Okay, so to make our purple, we just fold it over. Two, three, four. Use your pinkies to keep those ends curled under. Put your clip on it or clothespin or whatever you have on hand. Turn it away from you. Do the same thing on the other end. And then once you have your two curls, you're just going to turn it upside down. Scrunch down the middle to create a ruffled effect. Pinch the two sides together and it should look like you have a little bow tie. Now on this bottom layer, we're going to place it in the pipe cleaner with the finished edge to the outside and the inside. This format gives us an overall 24 to 25 inch wreath design. Okay, and now that we've done the purple, we need to do a yellow. down the middle. Remember to lay it in the same way with your finished edge to the outside and the inside. And on this layer of mesh you want to pull it really tight. You want to have it secure. And then when you're laying your pieces when you start getting to the end here make sure your pieces to the right you just always pull those out so they're over top of the piece you just put in. We have one left and it will be a purple. So the color scheme that I chose from our sign is um, the purple and yellow and then I chose to add a real light coral um, to match the, you know, some of this coloring that's coming out from inside the tomb. That's my three primary colors. Okay, I'll place this one in. Pull it tight just a couple times. And then don't forget, pull the mesh to the right out over top of the piece that you just put in. It keeps everything consistent and uniform all the way around with your layering. Okay, and then next thing I did, once you get all 12 pieces of your mesh in, I start working on my ribbons. We're going to be using four different ribbons. Our primary ribbon is going to be this purple, like a deep purple that says he is risen and has white crosses. And then we're going to also be using this yellow and white check. Now the He is Risen ribbon is two and a half inch. That came from Craft Outlet. This um, yellow and white is part of Sam's Spring collection. And then we're going to use this purple and yellow and white combined. It's like a diagonal pattern on it. That came from Craft Outlet. It's one and a half inch as well. And then our light coral um, was also part of Sam's Spring Collection and it's one and a half inch as well. Okay. So to get us started on this design, I did six inch pieces first. So what you're going to need is for this base layer, you're going to need three of the yellow cut to 12 inches long and dovetailed on each end and you're going to need three of the purple and yellow and you're going to cut that that's going to be 12 inches long and dovetailed I'm going to use this one to show you how to dovetail in just a minute and then you're going to need six of the he is risen for the bottom row and you're going to need six of the coral and those are also both cut to 12 inch pieces Okay, so to dovetail, which we should dovetail all of our ribbons, just gives it a nice finished look. You're going to fold it in half long ways, like that. Take your scissors, and we're going to cut it an angle from the folded side to the wired side. 
And then when we open it up, we just have that nice little inward V. Okay, so do the other side, fold it long ways, line up your edges and your ends. And again, just cut at an angle from the folded side to the wire side. Okay, now these, the reason that we only need three of each of these is because we're going to make these our six inch pieces. And the way that I do that is I line up my ribbons and I usually do about three at a time. Line up the ends the best you can. Fold it in half, again lining up these ends. And then you're just gonna give it a little crease right in the middle here. And just take the scissors and cut right along that crease that you made to cut them in half. And when you do three of each color, you then end up, whoops, you'll have six of the yellow and white and six of the yellow and purple, okay? And when we place those in our, our design, I rotate them and I do all of my six inch pieces first and then I go back and do my 12 inch pieces. So what I've done is I did the purple and yellow, purple and white, purple and yellow, or I'm sorry, purple and white, <laughs> purple and yellow, yellow and white, purple and yellow. So now we need to do a yellow and white. And I did the purple and yellow over top of the yellow mesh, and I did the yellow and white over top of the purple mesh. Okay, so when we add our six inch pieces, we have the one dovetailed in and one flat end. We're just gonna scrunch, make sure we have the right side up, and we're just gonna scrunch right along that straight edge and pinch it between our fingers just like that. And then we're gonna place it in our next pipe cleaner with our piece of ribbon coming straight out the middle of the piece of mesh we're laying it on. I'm gonna pull that tight because we don't want that ribbon to, to slip out. Okay. And then we just fluff out our tail and we're ready to do our next one, which will be the purple and yellow. Same process, lay it flat in front of you, scratch, scrunch the flat end, and then place it right in the middle, coming straight out the middle of the piece of mesh you're putting it over. Pull it tight and fluff it up. Curl your ends under a little bit. Just kind of give it an arch. with the yellow and white in the next one. And we're just rotating our colors all the way around, our patterns. And then our last one is gonna be purple and yellow. And you're just gonna do that around all 12 of the pipe cleaners on the outside two rings. And when you get your six inch pieces of ribbon in, this is what it should look like. And then you're ready to start laying in the 12 inch pieces. So the 12 inch pieces are gonna be the light coral and the purple he is risen. And what I did was I put the purple he is risen over top of the yellow and white. And then I put the coral over top of the yellow and purple. And that's just to give me a, a better color distribution. Cause if I put the purple with the purple, you would end up having like too much purple in one section and this just spaces out your purple. So the last one I have here is um, we did the purple he is risen over the yellow and white so now we're going to do a coral over the yellow and purple. To do these you just lay your ribbon in front of you. I've got a wire sticking out here I'm going to cut off. Lay it front, straight out in front of you scrunch right down the middle, V it back towards yourself to line up your ends and place it over top of the piece of ribbon so that it V's on each side of the six inch piece that you put in. That way what you end up with is three six inch ribbon tails and you can see all three of them. None of them are gonna be covered up. done with this pipe cleaner so we just trim off the excess and push down in the end and give it a squeeze to hold our ribbons tight. Okay, 
Okay, and now we're just gonna rotate that pattern. So now we need the purple, he is risen. Flip it off and push it down in and squeeze it tight. Okay. Be careful when you're trimming off your pipe cleaners not to cut your mesh. Any cuts in your mesh will cause it to fray. So next we need the he is risen again to go over the yellow and white. And I think this dark purple in these two ribbons is a nice contrast to the um, light purple that we used in the base, the mesh. And also the sign that we are using has both light and dark purple. Okay, we've got one more, which is going to be coral. And so once we get our first layer of ribbons in, that's what it will look like. Again, if you're watching me, I'm really sorry. I'm having internet issues tonight, so I can't get my comments to load in on my computer to be able to see those, but I will answer you immediately after the live. Um, I will check it. Okay, so now we're ready. We haven't done anything with these six pipe cleaners on the inside. We're ready to start working on those. And to do that, we just reach in between our pieces of mesh and pull these pipe cleaners straight out. Make sure that you're going between the right two pieces of mesh so that you are pulling the pipe cleaner straight out. That ensures that they're going to be evenly distributed, you know, evenly spaced. I just go ahead and pull all six out at one time before I start getting my materials ready for my next layer. Okay, I'll show you real quick what the sign looks like so far with these collars. I think that's going to work really nicely. It's got just the right amount of the coral to match the balance that's in the sign. So I think that's going to look really good when we get all done. Whimsical color selection, probably for spring or Easter reef, but with that sign, I think it works very well. Okay, so next, now that we've got our six pipe cleaners out, we are going to now use this purple and it's like a cream color poly burlap check mesh. I get this at Craft Outlet, and I last time I checked it, I was today or yesterday, they actually had this color on sale. This stuff is normally like $13 or $14 a roll and they had it on sale for nine. So if you like this mesh, now would be the time to buy it. This was the only color that I've seen on sale. The others weren't. Okay, so again, these are 16 to 17 inches long. This mesh is 10 inches wide. We're gonna use the same process we did on the bottom. We're gonna cruffle it again. Use our pinkies to keep our ends under. That's very important to get a nice curl. And I lost my clip as I often do. But I know I have another one nearby because I know I lose them all the time. All right, so put your clip to hold your curl. Turn it away from you and do the same thing on the other end. This mesh is nice too. It's easy to do your curls and keep everything even because you have these lines and you can just follow the lines and make sure you're keeping it straight, which is really nice. 
I'm a huge fan of this mesh, and this mesh is um, weather resistant, so it's a very good quality. And I like using it on top of my wreath because it uh, because it is weather resistant and provides protection to the other materials. Okay, and when you place it in, it's just going to look like a big bow. We're going to do six of those, one for each pipe cleaner. And as you can tell, that it's really quality mesh too. It shapes nicely, lays nicely, does exactly what you want it to do. So even though it's a little more expensive, it's it's really really nice. Scrunch it right down the middle. The scrunching part is easy to keep straight too because of the lines. We're just going to come and place it right in our next pipe cleaner. Pull this up so we don't mash it down. And when you're putting in the second layer of mesh, remember not to pull real tight. You'll sink your mesh down to the wire frame and lose it in your, your design and your materials underneath. And we're trying to build up our design. We don't want to keep it all mashed flat to the frame. Of this mesh where you cut it will fray so that is normal even though it's a nicer quality and cost more it will still fray I have never found a mesh that didn't fray if someone ever came up with that they would be a gazillionaire Nice pop of purple color on the top here. piece of fray here so I'm going to snip that off so it doesn't get worse. My nose is itching. <laughs> Not that you guys really probably wanted to know that. That's our last one, and now we're ready to put in our top layer of ribbons. For the top layer, we're using the same four ribbons, but you need three 12 inch pieces of all four patterns and colors. So we've got three of the His Risen, three of the purple and yellow, three of the yellow and white, and three of the coral. We're going to keep them matched the same way that we did on the bottom. So the purple and yellow will go with the coral. And when we do our top layer, instead of making a V, we're going to crisscross it in an X pattern, scrunch right up the middle, catch it between our fingers into like an X 
place it down inside of our pipe cleaner. Give it a pull and twist three or four times. We're not adding anything else to that, so we're going to go ahead and trim it off. Push it down in and squeeze, just like we did on our bottom layer. If your ribbons don't look straight to you, if they look crooked, you can just pull on one side, opposite sides on each side, and straighten it out. to do we're going to rotate the pattern again so we need to do the yellow and white with the purple he is risen let me know in the comments what you guys think of this um, color pattern and design with that sign or if you guys have other ideas or things that that you would um, think would look good with the sign let me know that as well I'd like to hear suggestions because it's interesting how um, one person can take the same sign or the same centerpiece and come up with completely different designs with completely different looks So now we need the coral and the yellow and purple again. Same process all the way around. We're making an X, putting it straight into the pipe cleaner. Twist it around three or four times. Clip off your end. Don't forget to push it down inside and then just give it a squeeze to securely hold those ribbons. Arch out your ribbon tails. Just a couple more sections to go and then we'll be able to put our sign. See what our final design looks like pinch that down very good. Okay. Purple and yellow. This is our last one of these. And then we just have one more section. like with all of our mesh and ribbons added. I really like it. I think it's pretty. Okay, so to add our sign, I think when you order from Doodlebug Lane Signs that you can request them to come with holes. I, I always do mine without the holes because I prefer to do my own holes. And to do them, I use um, these metal hole punch from Amazon. I bought the one that's all metal. The ones with plastic in the past broke on me, so I decided to go with this one that's more heavy duty and it's done very well. And then on, since this sign is kind of like a rectangle, I'm going to actually hole punch each of these sides and attach it in that way. 
So I'm just going to very quickly and the reason I prefer to do my own holes is because when they pre-punch them a lot of times the holes are bigger but you can see I don't know if you even can see on camera the hole that that punch makes is so small that it's barely noticeable so you're not going to see it in the design. from the Dollar Tree. It's floral wire, 26 gauge. That is what I use to attach all of my signs. Well, if I can get it started here, we'll do that. Oh, I think it's up here. I haven't used off of this roll yet, so it might take me a minute to get it started. There we go. I mean, I twist off my wire, I do it extra long, and then I just cut off the extra. It's easier with longer pieces to work down through all that mesh and ribbon because you have to get down to the wire frame that we started out with. I think I cut my pieces, uh, I think it varies every time I do it. <laughs> They're probably about 14 inches long. Okay. And then to put the wire on my sign, I just feed it through the hole and then I turn my sign face down and pull the wire through until the ends are even up here and then when I twist my knot I pull very tightly and make sure that I'm twisting the knot over top of the hole in the back because I want my wires to come out the back of the sign not off out the side. When it comes out the side, it leaves your sign when flimsy and wobbly, and it will move around potentially on your wreath. And I just twist three or four times, and then repeat the same process on the other side. Don't poke yourself in the eye with the wire like I almost just did. I'm an accident waiting to happen, guys. Up burn myself, I do everything, I cut myself, I stabbed myself with a screwdriver last week. Not sure I should be a crafter or maybe I should take a safety class for crafting. <laughs> okay, so then we just want to see how we want to lay our sign in. I think I'm going to do it this way so that I have a he is risen and a he is risen right here and then one at the top of my sign. There's no right or wrong to this. You can certainly put it in in any direction you want. And I'm going to pull the, this purple mesh up because I do not want to hide that down underneath or mash it down with the sign. Okay, so once I figure out where I want my sign, i got to feed these wires through all that mesh and ribbon we just put on there. And I'm going to wrap it around two of the wires that go around that frame that we started out with. Once I feed them down through there, I'm going to just give them a couple twists. down slightly but not too much because we don't want to mash our design and we don't want to sink our sign to the back of the wreath. We want it floating on top. Now that's just my preference. So, you know, there's certainly different ways to do it. Everybody has their own technique. But I like for my sign to be prominent, the most prominent thing on my design. Especially one that's important, if message as important as this one. And then I just, once I twist it 10 times or so, I cut off the wire, the extra, and then the piece that's left here, I just take it and twist it around this ring here until I get that sharp pointed end up inside of the design. That just makes it, keeps the back of our design smooth. Okay, and then I'm just gonna turn it over and do the other side. Uh, 
trying to make sure that we keep it straight. Once I get my wires down through there, there we go, um, I like to just check how my sign is laying, make sure it's still centered, and that looks pretty, pretty good. Oh, maybe it needs to come up here. down slightly to kind of make it tight but not too tight and mesh my mesh down underneath of it that mesh also helps provide support for your sign and keeps it from sliding down or moving it around and again I'm just going to clip off the extra wire Wrap it around the inside frame. Okay, and that's it, you guys. We finished another one. Let me know what you think. I think it turned out very well. I like it. I like with the little pops of the coral all the way around. Let me know what you guys think, though. All right. Thank you guys for watching me, and uh, I'll be back probably tomorrow with another video. Um, we're going to finish up a couple more Easter's and then we're going to get into some bumblebees and ladybugs and some other things. So I uh, will see you soon.